For those of you who are creating a podcast, I want to go over the steps in how you can go about submitting the assignment each week. The first thing you'll need to do is to go into your OneDrive. Make sure that you've signed in using your UAA University Edu account. And when you go into OneDrive, if you click here, you have access to your OneDrive. The first time going into your OneDrive, you're likely not to have any information, any folders or any files. So let's just assume that I don't have any information here and I'm creating a folder for the first time. The first thing you'll need to do is to create a folder, call it, in this case, listening and speaking, the name of the uh, subject. And we'll call it uh, listening and speaking one since there are technically two uh, subjects, uh, listening and speaking one and listening and speaking two. So we're going to create a folder and we're going to go into that folder called listening and speaking one. Now this is where I would upload any files that relate to this subject regardless if it's related to the podcast or not. But for our purposes we need to now create a subfolder we're gonna and we're going to call it podcast. Okay, so anything that's related to our podcast is going to go into a subfolder called podcast that's located in our folder called listening and speaking one. Now we're going to go into our subfolder called podcast. And here is where we're going to create another subfolder or a series of subfolders that relate to each of the podcast episodes. So our first folder, our first subfolder in our folder called podcast we're going to, we're going to call this episode 1 okay so just assume each week as you are creating new episodes each week you're going to create a subfolder in your podcast folder called episode and then the number of the episode okay so by the end of the semester you're going to have 16 different subfolders episode number one episode number two episode number three and so on so our first episode episode number one we're going to go into this subfolder now and this is where we're going to upload anything that relates to that podcast episode for that particular week for example the audio maybe in some cases i'll ask for you to upload a video for your podcast but in most cases, most weeks, we're just going to upload an audio. So you can create an audio using any app on your phone, on your mobile device. If you want to use a computer to create an audio file, that's fine. But you can do all of this with your phone very easily by creating an audio file and uploading it from your device directly to OneDrive. Now you do need to make sure if you haven't already, make sure that you've uploaded the Microsoft 365 app uh, on your phone so that you have access to not only OneDrive, but you also have access to Microsoft Word, Excel, PowerPoint, and uh, other related apps. So once you have created these subfolders, again, we can see our breadcrumb up here. We have My Files listening and speaking one podcast which is a subfolder of listening and speaking one and then we have episode number one this is our current folder or subfolder within another subfolder called podcast okay so this is the root where we can find this information all right so i'm going to create just a very quick audio on my phone just as an example all right so i'm just using the default um, app it's a voice recorder that came with this operating system on this phone okay so in most cases the default audio recorder most phones now come with these options here so I'm going to just record as an example check one two check one two hello and welcome to ELT cast an educational podcast making English language teaching and learning more transparent my name is Benjamin Stewart at Benjamin L Stewart dot net Okay, so I created my podcast. There should be a way to share the folder or the file. 
So once you have your audio now on your phone that you finished your uh, podcast episode, you should have an option to share the audio file. If you click share, select OneDrive and select the folder. So in this case, we're going to select first listening and speaking one, then the folder podcast, and then the folder episode number one in this case, because this is our first audio. And at the top right hand corner of your screen, you'll have a check mark and that should allow you then to upload that audio to your OneDrive. So depending on how, how large the audio file is, We'll give it a second, and there it appears. Okay, so it's fairly quick, and well, in this case, obviously the audio, uh, the audio file is rather small. So again, depending on how long or how large it is, and your connection speed uh, will indicate how long it takes to upload. But here we go. We have our our file. Now I'm going to go through the steps on how you share now the file, and this is going to apply to any kind of file that you have in OneDrive, okay? Whether it's a text file, if it's an Excel spreadsheet, audio, video, doesn't matter. We're gonna follow the same steps in obtaining the URL, the link that you can share. So the first thing you'll need to do is select the ellipsis, these three dots. And in this case, there are several ways to do this, but I'm gonna show you here by clicking Manage Access. And we're going to click share, and then we're going to select this share settings. We want to select this option here. And depending on the, uh, the assignment, okay, we can either keep it by default, can view only, or can edit. I think for our purposes for this episode, probably uh, can view is is fine. You do not need to block the download. You can just leave everything else here as you want. So again, just select people in the university and then apply. And here in this case, in most cases, I would just select copy link. Okay, you do have an option of sending via email, but I'm going to ask that you do not do that and just select copy link. So now it has been shared, and you'll notice here, I didn't mention this earlier, but this activity column changed. Now it appears that this file has been shared. Okay, this is how you share an individual document. Now, I think in most cases, each week when I ask you to share your, your assignment, when you're submitting your assignment to the virtual classroom, I'm going to ask that you instead share the folder. Okay, so notice you can share the folder or you can share the, the file. Why? Because in most cases, you're going to have more than one file that is part of the assignment that you're creating. And we'll talk about that later. So for each assignment, I'm going to ask that you follow exactly the same steps and share the respective folder that represents or has all of the documents, all of the files that are related to that particular episode. So here in this case, we're going to do exactly the same thing. We're going to select, select the ellipsis, manage access. We're going to click share, settings. And we're going to indicate in our case, people within our institution. Everything else by default in most cases is fine. Click apply, copy link. And now you'll notice also that this activity has changed. It has updated, indicating that this episode one folder now is being shared. Okay. All right. So now that you have the URL, then you will go to the virtual classroom to submit that assignment. All right. So once you go into the virtual classroom, you'll go under the module where you can find uh, the assignment. And you'll see here something like podcast episode number one. These are your assignments, and you'll go in here and submit your assignment in this space. And in most cases, I'm only going to ask that you copy and paste the shared URL to the folder, the podcast episode folder, 
not any particular file, but the folder, and upload that URL to the virtual classroom. And then from there, I can go in and click the URL to see uh, the files that are part of that particular episode. Okay, so I hope this helps. I just wanted to go over uh, the steps involved in creating your audio, uploading it to OneDrive, and sharing that OneDrive, that OneDrive folder, that subfolder. And I would ask that everyone create the same uh, class folders, listening and speaking one, and then a subfolder for podcast, and then within that podcast folder, individual subfolders that are part of each of your weekly podcast episode okay so if you guys have any questions we're going to also go over this in class uh, make sure that you're reaching out especially getting started uh, if this is something new uh, make sure that you're uh, getting uh, the help that you need make sure you're asking questions if you're not sure if you're having some technical issues uh, uploading your audio